call the meeting order for July 17, 2024. We'll start with the motion. The Pledge of Allegiance is to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Yes, sir. Approval of the agenda. Make a motion to approve the agenda. Second. All in favor? Minutes of the last meeting. I make a motion that we approve the minutes of the last meeting with one change to that number. Number. Second. All in favor? <coughs> Time to your weekly update. Okay, just a couple items for you. Um, first is just to let you know that the, uh, I think I did send this to you, but the APAT director job has officially been um, advertised and posted. It's running in the newspaper. We've mm -hmm. already received uh, at least one resume. So um, we'll start looking at those. And as they come in, Tom's a liaison. We'll schedule some interviews. When does that close off? Uh, it closes off on the 31st. Okay. Uh, Speaking of interviews, um, Ed, I sent you an email. We've got some scheduled with um, Robin on Tuesday, starting at 9 o'clock. We've got three of them scheduled, so that will be for the part-time transfer station position that we've had open, so we'll interview for that next week. Uh, it is everyone's favorite time of year, after Tom's favorite being audit, which is the town of court. And we need to start uh, thinking about that. Oh, <laughs> 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 it's our favorite. So uh, last year, we sent out a memo August 4th. We're a little early, but I'm going to go for it. Uh, we used September 7th for a deadline. So I'll use a similar date, right around um, a week or so after Labor Day. But it went really well last year. We got it out a lot earlier. Um, big help was with the audit. But uh, any changes or anything that you guys want to do as we think about town report this year? Let me, I'll take a look at it. Okay. Okay, right. see if I, I, I had some thoughts, but I don't remember. So, start thinking um, in your minds quietly on dedication as well. Yep. Um, we're going to talk about the parking lot because it's uh, down under old business, but I um, want to talk to you a little bit about the alarm system. So the town of Acton, for the 20 years that I have been here, it started as Protection One, changed to ADT, and now is a company called Evron. Um, they've had a lot of changes over the years. We've had you know, some good years with them, some rocky years with them. Um, we turned off all monitoring of that fitness center seven or eight years ago. Mm -hmm. when, we, when we stopped using it as a gym and it turned into a little bit of storage, it essentially was shut down. We never received another bill for it. They came out themselves, turned off the monitoring. Everything was done for seven or eight years. We heard nothing about that building in regards to ABT. The minute the uh, excavator hit the back of the wall yesterday, the alarm started going off. And it was the alarm on this building because apparently there was a wire, it was still wired into this panel that's in my office. Um, my calls to ADT totaled about four hours on Monday, off and on. They couldn't understand or wrap their heads around the fact that because there was no service contract on the gym that they were just not willing to come out and help us fix it. And we explained it to them over and over. David um, was lucky enough to get conferenced in with me a couple of times because I was just, my frustration level, it, it they, was frustrating. they just yeah. weren't understanding. I mean, we walked, it walked through with them. Long story short, they eventually came out um, about three o'clock. It was frustrated enough that I said, if we don't pay our bill, we shut it off. <laughs> and the ladies like, well, let's take a long time. time. <laughs> I mean, they, they just kept saying, you know, we know you have an alarm going off, but we can't come out because you don't have service to that building. Like, the building doesn't exist. I mean, put the service call on 35A to it. I mean, yeah. we tried everything. It was just a, the customer service, the, the problem with ABT, in my opinion, is that they do have local branches. Ours is out of Portland, but you're not allowed to communicate with them. You have to only call the call center. And I, so Monday was, I mean, the entire day was spent on the alarm. Um, they came out 3 o'clock. So it, it went off if you were driving by for those 8 or 10 hours on Monday. We eventually got it shot off about 5 o'clock. Yesterday, we came into troubles, so open circuits on the trouble panels. So yesterday, that beeped for about 6 hours. First thing in the morning at 8.30, we start calling them. 
calling and calling and it, it's just it, it's not good customer service by the end of it um, last night on say 7 38 o'clock I got a message on my machine that goes to my cell phone saying that partition 3 was in trouble and it was tied to the open circuit so I was back at it again today with them I am going to recommend to the board that they, you consider changing companies uh, we have a local company um, that's out of Sanford that I've asked them to come in Friday just to look at what we have and price it. I've spoken to ADT. They're well aware of where I'm at with this. Um, and short of a 60-day uh, termination letter, we can get out of it. Okay. Um, it's just, you know, I mean, there's, there's just no excuse for what has gone on these last few days, especially since they're the ones that turned the service off on the gym originally. No, it was terrible, sir. Terrible, sir. I just, <laughs> Yes, uh, I don't know what company you're thinking about. There's one I'd suggest you look at, Seacoast Security. Okay. Uh, there's a technician actually in Shapley who's excellent. And so there'll be somebody locally, and um, you call and you get a response. You can talk to someone mm -hmm. and they tell you what they're doing. Yeah, I, know what, uh, I know exactly who that is. Yeah. I'm going to say that. So yeah, I'll reach out to him okay. as well. So. So you know that I'm working on that. Um, bum, 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 bum. Oh, the sheriff's department also contacted me. We had, or the board had okayed uh, two traffic details in June. If you remember, we had, yes. we had looked at some. Um, they only ended up doing one because of an emergency. So they're asking now if we want to um, reschedule that. I mean, we're in a new fiscal year. Uh, if you want to hold off a while or, or what your thoughts are. If we do it uh, two a month for the rest of the year, for the coming fiscal year or this fiscal year, do we have enough money in the budget to do that? Well, you don't have it. You don't have enough out of the dispatch line because that line is was governed just for what the contract was. Do we have another line that we um, can fund it? I could. I'd have to take a look. I mean, it's early, but I I've gotten feedback that people like the extra detail. Mm -hmm. I'm sure there are people that don't who maybe got you got nabbed, but. Um, <laughs> yeah, I think I, I would do it, at least fill the one in that they didn't do. Yeah. 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 So, I mean, it's yeah. just, you know, the way that we really tightened up the budget this year and assuming mm -hmm. that everything is well, so spoken for something. Right. Well, let's, let's, let's continue to do it. Yep. I think summertime is probably the most important time to do it because yeah. that's when most of the traffic is around. And uh, um, so I would continue. I don't know how you all Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Totally yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. I, and I do think yeah. we ought to also a week after. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Labor Day or a week after. Yeah, yeah. And, and and I think we ought to resurrect the concept of um, the upcoming contract renewal. And what are we going to do? And do we just want to continue to renew a contract with um, your county mm -hmm. sheriff, or do we want to look at establishing some capability on our own? I personally think that would be a good thing to investigate. I don't know what it would cost and. So on, but I think I think Acton just listening to these reports, mm. there are some dangerous situations. There is. We're, not, we're not getting any smaller. No, and, so. and it's really dangerous stuff. It is. And I, I, I'd be more yeah. comfortable if we had our more. own uh, police force. Oh. I'll be honest with you. Would you consider your own deputy or more police force? I, I, I don't know. We could get I, numbers. I, really on I think we've got three options that we should be looking at. Either you know. continue on the same path we're on. Or you take the deputy that you know go with the sheriff's department. We buy a whole deputy. Buy a whole one. Yeah. Or we do it. Oh, we do it. Yeah. Talk this for a yeah. Yeah. while. Yeah. yeah. Possibly. Uh, All right. Yeah. Well, we know we only have a one-year contract, so we'll let you enjoy a little more of the summer. That's when December. December. So. Yeah. So we'll we make sure that. it doesn't stay up. Of on course, it all the time too when right. the sheriff's department comes back with us. Right. As to what they know, want to do. Right. Because yeah. last year, you know, they kind of was kept, kept us in limbo a little bit. All right, I'll uh, okay. start working on that a little bit behind the scenes. All right, I think that's um, all I have for you. Okay. Uh, please, uh, updates, Tom. Um, I think most of my time, uh, Warren Finance hasn't met yet. APAT, um, we're really uh, working on this, this open position. With regard to finances, um, continue to do some refinement by through Mark Roy of our fiscal year results. They continue to be positive. Um, we're not ready to sort of release those results yet. Probably once the auditors get done their field work and kind of confirm where we stand, that's when I would release them. But um, things look positive, I'll leave it that way. Um, and we spent a lot of time today working with Mark uh, and um, 
our treasurer, and, and Jennifer to sort of um, sure up some of our accounting procedures. And I thought that went very well. Very I think well. I think Lauren appreciated it. Mm -hmm. I know Mark did. So uh, we'll just continue to do that and try to develop the training in that area uh, as we go. That's it. Uh, Let's see, nothing really new on the transfer station side. Um, he's got his new skid steer or rented skid steer up there to get by yeah. right now. We want to make sure, not to interrupt you, that that doesn't fall off the radar. So we know that they're looking at another month, three would be their max. Yep. You know, so some point, depending on what happens. Yep, last time I talked to Robin, he, well, actually, it was last Friday, he was hoping to have the specs. For the new oh, skits. so he's working on yeah. specs. Okay, I didn't know. Yeah, that. and he's working with it, working with uh, Will. Our on specs of what they need. To, yeah, talk with the specs. And so. then we'll go out to bid. Is that yeah. right? I didn't know the board. Yeah, I think when we get them, Dave, if you'll look them over. Yeah. Just to make I, sure. I think we uh, indicated that a new skid steer is probably 50 to 60. Correct. Uh -huh. um, I believe you can get a, a relatively uh, low used used in the 30s with a warranty and low use like five to eight hundred hours um, that's almost cutting it in, you know maybe by 40 to 50 percent in price and uh, I think we should consider it uh, I don't know how many hours we put on a on that machine in a year Robin do you know I am. do you know how many hours are it now uh, no, on the, on the old one? Yeah. yeah. No, not right off the top of my head. Did we get that back yet? No. Um, one yeah, thing so one thing you've got to do, with, especially with the new stuff, the older stuff, you know, that you didn't have to worry about the death fluid and all that right. crap. Um, biggest thing is now is your warranties. The longer the warranty, especially with all the stuff fluid. And, uh, it's my understanding the new ones are also highly computerized. And they, they, when those go down, it gets very expensive. Yeah. And maintenance is what's extremely important. Are you going to get somebody to come out on site and fix it right away, or are you going to be backed up for two weeks without anyone coming? Um, so there are some of those that I, I think Bobcat's got a great reputation for mm -hmm. that. Um, so um, yeah. we should consider <coughs> all Any, the options. Anybody that you buy, we buy a machine off has to be able to come all mm -hmm. on-site service, on -site service. Mm -hmm. um, maybe even a service contract. My understanding Most is that like Kubota yeah. and John Deere doesn't do that. Maybe they do oh, here. They do. Okay, good. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Okay. Uh, sure. uh, okay. Mary Grant's working on a, uh, they had a meeting last Saturday. I wasn't able to attend due to the company, but they're working on a really good program for their picnic in a couple of weeks. Uh, they get some live music and Lots of good things there. Uh, what else have I yeah, got? Yeah, yeah. The animal control officer, I met with him briefly this afternoon. He was he came in to pick some stuff up. And, uh, things are going good with him. Uh, getting used to his new position and whatnot. I find it quite interesting. So, <laughs> he sounds like he has good common sense. About I think he does. Handle issues. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's great. Yeah, so, yeah. That's all I got. All right. Um, I got Nothing with the, with the schools right now. Um, planning board meets tomorrow. The cemetery committee, I reached out to Steve Perello, and uh, they have a cleanup coming up this Sunday uh, from 10 to 1 next to 284 Goose Pond Road. Um, hope to get some people out there. I know they've had, I guess they've got a message string that goes out to a lot of volunteers, and he's hoping to get uh, some people to volunteer to adopt a cemetery. Okay. You know, go mow it, take mm -hmm. care of any down kind of like a adopt a highway type deal? Yeah, kind of like mm -hmm. that, yeah. 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 Good idea. Do, you, um, do you have that like email that you communicated? Because we could still probably get that in our newsletter that goes out tomorrow yeah, I'll send and you on the right. website. I had no idea they were meeting, so. Oh, well, they're not meeting. I mean, well, they're yeah, doing that day. Yeah, yeah um, and that's, if we're trying to get volunteers and yep. the website and the newsletter yep. is a great way. Then I'll, uh, I'll reach back out to him, but I'll send you um, what I what Yeah, I've just forward to me now. Yeah, yeah. And that's, that's what I've got. That's all you and got. the school did, um, I think you were CC last emails. week. They were, um, John Ross reached out to me regarding the new principal, 
and um, just looking at a timeline of bringing him into a select board meeting in late August, early September, so that you guys can meet him. I guess so. Yeah, I guess we have one. A new he president? was hired, yes. Oh, okay. Hmm. First I've heard about it. Yeah. Was that announced or no? I don't know how they did, what their hiring um, okay. process right. is. Thank you. Okay. Well, um, well, we had a real committee there a couple weeks ago. I think I've already mentioned that one there. So we got to go over municipal grounds. We got the, you got something signed. Uh, we're working on getting something signed. We're okay. drafting it up and Mike's going to it. Yeah. I I think I, we, and we did announce that they were so tickled pink and thankful that you yeah. guys are doing all that. But yeah. David, I think since the last meeting, asked me to get something in writing. Yeah, I want to get something in writing. For the church, yeah. Church. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. We're working with Mike to draft that up. Yep, and uh, municipal grounds. Uh, obviously, there's something missing in the front yard. <laughs> Building's gone. Oh, I think. Uh, this looks great. Yeah, it looks wonderful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Nick Rose uh, did a great job in and out, I think. Well, you can technically, I learned. Well, I did call him Nick. The one that signed the checks. <laughs> so, the uh, Curtis has to be yeah, doing a really go. good job over there. Uh, they were in and out just about a day. Um, and I think they came the next day and put some crushed gravel down. Yeah. So, he's parking on it. Yep. So, thank you for getting that done. Uh, I don't think I've got anything else on. Nope. No, I did, um, regarding your municipal grounds, we did reach out to the uh, company in Lebanon, you know, in regards to the uh, road assessment. Oh, and, yep. Uh, so, we're waiting for a response. And until we get through the DOT, you don't have much going on with the parking lot. Nope. And the transfer station project is just kind of tabled for now, right? Okay. Uh, back to the building coming down. Um, everybody will notice the sign up front's not lit. That was tied to that building. Yeah, so can we rework something there? So yeah, we're gonna have to see if uh, we can figure out who, or we can get Mr. Norman does our electrical right. engineers and see yeah. about. Um, well, we're, 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 I think we're, is it on? It's here? on the agenda. It's on the agenda. So when we get to that point, we'll discuss the rest of that, yeah. I guess. Okay. So the department head committee chair updates. Here. We have a little business parking lot. There we go again. All right, so <laughs> I guess I put this on here. Um, we're just trying to figure out what the next step is. What do you want to do with it from here? Where do you see us going with it? Well, I mean, uh, I I think what we really ought to do at this point in time uh, is at least patch in the area that we disturbed so that it can be plowed and parked on for this coming winter. Um, we really have to figure out exactly what, what we want to do long term. But if we do that, we're still probably a year or two away from doing that. Major project? And uh, a major project, whether or not we put an election hall in or something like that, we, we still probably ought to patch that. And uh, that helped down there probably figure out what we're going to do with that. So um, so obviously, we got payment bids coming out tonight. Maybe we can get a price from uh, whoever. Our, our, uh, Contract. lowest bid is yep. and uh, maybe get that paved in that's so just, just a would that just be the area where it was uh, yeah it was it's open now so the hill would have to stay or so well, <clears throat> I don't deal with that I just I didn't I didn't even look at it on the way in but yeah, obviously we don't want to that would it would be nice if that was going on yeah <laughs> and um, make it a lot easier wouldn't it plow that yeah <laughs> so I'll, I'll take a look at it and I'll take a look at it with Will we'll figure something out there uh, and do sure. we know, so regarding the sign, because before if we decided to, to pay, well, where is the wire, so we know? It, we're going to have to run a new wire, because we're going to yeah. splice it anyway, yeah. so yeah. if we can get somebody, uh, mm -hmm. I have somebody with, and that may have a ditch which might be the best thing then, mm -hmm. to run a new wire. Actually, that'd be the easiest. Yeah. Easiest, and you know, somebody would have to cut across the paved parking lot. There's a couple here in town, so. Yeah, and uh, yeah. so obviously that was be something we'd, we'd want to do anyways, but I don't the think... The electrician won't do any of that work. They'll just run it once the digital... Yeah, he'll run it. I don't think... It'd be, you know, they typically don't dig them when they do it. It's rare. But uh, I think we can, we can locate somebody to dig it and uh, well, get the wire run. I don't think that's going to affect the parking lot any, because I think you better off running it out of the grass lot anyways. Okay. So... But maybe we could do that in the pump at the same time? Uh, we had a uh, uh, a budget for the parking lot. Yeah, I believe there was 85, 85. in there. So before we pay for we'll pay for the demolition. We'll pay for the paving out of that, right? Mm -hmm. And there, there should be a balance left over. 
Uh, yeah, I, I, I would imagine there's a balance left over. Um, and I, I didn't know if that had any specific yeah. restrictions on it. Um, personally, I think we ought to do something with the streetscape. Uh, you know, this this is actually a very attractive set of buildings here when you look at them now, compared to what they look like with that other building in front of them. Um, I, I I would suggest we get in touch with a, a landscape firm and have them come take a look at this and maybe do some kind of a uh, you know a retaining wall out front with a, a wooden sign with a light that says Town of Acton, some lawn out there, just make it look Beautiful. make it look uh, something sure. that we're proud of. And I don't think it would take a lot of money. We got the money in the budget. We're doing this work now. We're doing the work over here. It, it seems to me we could tie that all together and just spiff the place well, up. You can, you can still do that without interfering. We'll no, that's right. I, I don't think it would. I, and it wouldn't interfere with future building sites either. It just, just around the exterior. Get some down, get some grass. Yeah. We're going to talk to the road commissioner about using some salt in this parking lot as well. Yeah. So salt right instead of sand? No, no sand. So, oops. So, uh, so do you want to be, is he nodding? <laughs> he was hiding. He was swerving around. So are we thinking that we want to put together some sort of bid to, to sure. beautify the... Talk to, talk to talk the customers. So you really can't do that? No. Because the problem is, how do you put a bid out where you don't have an actual... Plan. You don't know what you're going to do. So we have to, we have one way of doing it is to just invite two or three yeah. uh, landscapers yeah. in and take a look at the site. What do you think we could do here? We don't have to hire any design people. They could, yeah, the, the, uh, yeah. the landscaper, Same I mean, the 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 so let them yeah. in and give us, and get a couple of ideas. Mm -hmm. And then from that, yeah. you could put together a big There's yeah. probably somebody in town that has the landscape design Software. capabilities yeah. to, you know. Most of them have it now. Well, yeah, but I mean, even just a, a resident, somebody that might want to do it for the no, time. That's fine. So we can uh, set an invitation date to meet. Yeah. All right. So Tom, I, well, actually, you, you, you bring them and let them give us the ideas. Right. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. So but if we bring it to the three at once and let them look at it, do yeah. you want to do it? Yeah. 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 Okay. All right. So I'm going to set up an invitation walkthrough and we'll yeah. get a schedule. Yeah. 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 All right. uh, I think that's it for the parking lot. Okay. So mm -hmm. we'll move down to Blueberry Hill contract. All right, so last week, um, was Tom. Well, so, uh, we can, sorry about that. Are we going to move on about paving this parking lot? Is that something we want to do? Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. So, um, at this point in time, do you want me to contact mm -hmm. whoever the uh, paved, work with Will and the paving sure. contractor yep. and get yeah. that paved and see what we do about the hump? It's, yep. it, it seems to me that that was exactly what the money was appropriate yeah. for. So this is this concept has already been approved by the townspeople. So we're just executing what they've already yeah. approved. I'm just okay with I'm you just guys trying to make it clear to people yeah. why we're doing yeah, this. Yeah, I just want to make sure that a lot move forward. As long as it's done by winter, sure. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Okay. Let's go back to the Blue Rail contract. Thank you. Okay. So um, last week, Tom made a, a good point in regards to uh, the cleanup. So just to remind you, so we've made a couple of changes. It's only a five-year contract. It has gone up to $500 a month rather than four. We've given them 90 days from the date of the signed contract to clean up what's currently on site. And then it says, if the lessor fails to remove the prohibited items or continues, the leasee shall be entitled to remove them at the lessor's expense, which will be offset against rental payments due under this lease. And that's a right we have going forward. Correct. Two years from yes. now, there's a mess. We yes. give 90 days notice. It's ongoing. Okay. So, we ready to sign? Ready. All right. So, someone wants to make a motion to sign that page? Uh, can I have the top page? Mm. See who, who it is we're signing it with? I'll, I'll make a, a motion that we enter into a lease extension uh, for the Blueberry Hill property at a monthly rate of $500. Uh, for a period of five years. Anything else, Jennifer? Just the name of the property owner. That's where the payments go. The property owner is Darlene Ham. Second. So, all of here. Right. Is this last page? Uh, there's a couple of places for signature, so. Okay, well, you come all right, start with that one. So it is being notarized, so I need to ask you all if you understand what you're signing, you're signing it under your own free will. Yes. Yes. <laughs> 
was before you to go over there offer of the area that I'm going to take by um, domain and thousand dollars you wanted 24 hours just to review it any questions comments no we really didn't have any choice in the matter no, no really and really at the end of the day they could take it from every domain I mean they, mm -hmm. they have every right to work on it use it yep. and by the law it like Tom said, take a thousand dollars. Yep. <laughs> I mean, easy, take it or you don't. Yep. And but they're gonna do it anyways. So there's two forms that you have to sign. Um, the first is the actual agreement. It's only got a place for two, but you'll need to all please sign it. And then the acknowledgement of explanations. This is the things A through G that they presented to you last week. Somebody needs to at least initial each one of those and then full board needs to sign. Okay. Do we need a motion on the lease? And so the motion would be to accept uh, or, or to accept a $1,000 payment from the Department of Transportation for the state of Maine uh, in consideration for them taking property associated with the expansion of 109 next to our athletic services. Good job. Okay. So we all, so second. That's a motion. No, second. All in favor? I won't date this. Did you look at these questions? Yes, they, she went over each one of them last week. They're all okay. They seem fine to me. Well, I was going to matter anyway. I don't want to say you can negotiate that, but I'm good to take it, not give you the money. No one will ever be able to figure out these initials anyway, so it doesn't matter. That's an EMC around that. Something in place was better than. Uh, yes, we can't go without it. So. Nope. Well, we tried. We tried. With, we that, with that same property, I'm working with the EMA to secure us a generator and then to get the electrical stuff updated in there. So all we have to do is pull it out of that building and plug it in and fire it up. Nice. Working. Work in progress. Okay. So I'm here tonight. Uh, a few months ago, uh, I came before the board to apply for a grant. Received a grant of fifty thousand dollars from from the Stephen and Tabitha King Foundation. Nice. Uh, through that grant process, I had to specifically apply for something. It's not just spend it on whatever you want. Uh, I put in for a new uh, SCBA fill station to fill our SCBA bottles. Uh, breathe in our air pack that we breathe off from fills those bottles when we use them. And so, yeah. How do you pretty, fill them now? Pretty excited. Huh? How do you I, fill them now? We have a uh, fill station that was 
donated to us by York Fire. Okay. Probably how many years ago? <laughs> mm, probably 2003. And it mm. was old then. It was probably late 80s then. Right. I'm sure York probably knew one. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's, 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 that's right. right. I mean, uh, <laughs> doesn't have one. I'm not going to recommend it for fire use based on. Uh, really? Can you fill uh, 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 scuba tanks with this? Yes. Uh, you probably could, yes. Uh, Spia and maybe uh, other lakes, they're doing diving for snails, invasive snails and things. I don't know where they go to get their tanks filled now, but if you're. If, if you're looking for some place that might be interested, I don't know if so, you're certified to run it or whatever. When, it, when we do, depending on what happens with the new one, right here, uh, yeah. I do know yeah. that the current, I forget who services now, Tur Turcot, or I forget the business. I got the name already at the station, but when he comes to service every year, he's always like, when you guys know you're ready to this, we probably can find somebody to purchase it. Well, remember, so, there's a warrant article that talks yeah, about yeah. disposing of a certain value. Not even there. <laughs> but we're just excited to get $50,000 yeah. and a new one coming. Right. Yeah, so uh, the other part of this, I'd like to execute the purchase of the new one. Uh, the grant is for $50,000. Um, through my extensive research and talking with area departments, uh, I have chosen and would like to recommend uh, the Arctic air compressor brand. Uh, Alfred has it, Sanford has it, Wells has it. Uh, a lot of York County has it. Um, I'm not sure what York has, I don't know. but uh, it's been highly recommended. Uh, this company that we do tons of business with already has provided us with a quote. Um, but I do have one issue. So the quote uh, is 49228 installed. Um, and you guys just talked about it with the tractor at the transfer station, but I'd like to buy the extended warranty, which uh, is 3685 which that would obviously put us at 52913 how many years? Five years. Bumper to bumper, everything. What's the warranty that comes with it? Two years. Two years. So this buys us an extra three. So well, where I'm going with that, I guess, before we make a decision, uh, that puts us obviously over the grant. So my my recommendation is spend obviously the fifty thousand for the grant, and then the difference I have it could cover out of my operating budget, out of the SCBA line that's already in the budget. What line is that? It's fire department self-contained breathing apparatus. So you already have a lot for that. Yeah, it's where I pull the maintenance out of yeah. our, uh, out of that for the current one. That's also where we get some of the other uh, airbag stuff serviced out of that line. So I'd like to use that difference, which if it comes down to it should be about uh, just rough numbers here, uh, twenty three hundred bucks. Because twenty yeah, twenty three hundred bucks. So obviously it's 50,000. I have no, no issue at all. But you uh, did get other bids. The, other, the other quotes, one came in at 50, one's at, for apples to apples, one's at 50, one's at 57,000. And that's not with any extra warranties. So this is the cheapest one anyways. Is this one that you would prefer having? Correct. Correct. And it's the cheapest one? Correct. <clears throat> the only glitch we have here is the extended warranty goes over the 50 grade, which I have no problem pulling out of the uh, yeah. 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 Yeah, this is a, this is a yeah. really good deal for the top of yeah. This is pretty it's cool. Good job. It's really like a thousand dollars for a year for the extra yeah. three years. Yeah. yeah. Just, yeah. Does this include new Cascade bottles as well? New just Cascade the, bottles, new fill station, the whole like, thing. A double fill station. We put two bottles in, fill at the same time. Four bottles and the compressor. Nice. Okay. The whole setup. And the new one's going to be put the bottles in, close the doors, yep. all it's explosion all, proof, all. Yeah. It's all up to okay. standard. Yep. Ours currently is not. No. Nope. Uh, has all the new requirements for the carbon monoxide monitoring and uh, that stuff that we have to have. Obviously, it gets tested every year, serviced every year, just like we do now. So, so what was the cost? What was the price on the uh, the actual compressor? Forty-nine thousand two twenty-eight sixty. 
Okay, so, so you're going to just use the 50000 on that? Yeah. And which, what's the difference that you're going to have to pull out? Uh, 23. 23. Yeah, 23. So about 2300, yes. We don't have to make a motion on this. Well, I mean, we can just make a motion. You can just say as presented with the name of the company. That's why I was trying to get the exact yeah. number yeah. so we, we can allow the motion to approve the purchase. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. It's through Bergeron Protective Clothing. The but, same people we use for our uh, turtle gear. They're also an MSA dealer, which is, uh, it's not who we purchased the bags with at the time, but they uh, they sell all our MSA pack stuff. It's a good solid company. So with the, with some RT, everything, what's the total? Is there a total total? Yeah. 52,913, 68. 52, 9, 13, 68. Yep. Okay, I make a motion. And we approve the air compressor um, of the fire department with the five year warranty at 52,913.68. Um, 2300 being pulled out of the fire department's uh, air compressor line and the 50,000 being spent from the grant. Second. <coughs> All in favor? Good job. Can I awesome. Have awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Can I have a quote? I should have my notes all over this one. I can give you this one. That's fine. I actually have my initials, so I have something. Yeah, I can figure this out. I just... Good job, William. Thanks. You got anything else for us? Uh, not right now. No, that's good. Cool. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. A couple of new initials on that one. Been out, we mailed it to three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten companies. Ran in the newspaper, put it everywhere we always have. Um, oops, tiny. So, this was sealed bids for paving roads through June 30th of 2025. Um, all right, Dayton Sand and Gravel. Mm -hmm. Okay, asphalt per ton, $98. Hand work, $165. Curbing, $13 per foot, linear foot. And reclaiming at $0.50 cents per square foot. So $98 per ton. Yes. Next one is from Carol Materials. Um, materials per ton, $96.10, hand work at $218, curbing per ton is $320, reclaiming is $0.36. Cents. What is reclaiming? Well, we did a rush at the line. Line. Would you? Yeah. Yeah. Great. That's what I thought. Okay. So I'm just curious. So the first one, the date and curbing per linear foot was thirteen dollars, but the curbing per ton is three hundred twenty. So how many linear that? feet are in a ton? Can you drive me into that? Yeah, I'm just yeah, curious. That'd be awesome. Uh, probably twenty-five feet. Yeah. I mean, it'll, it'll, it'll depend on the mold, but it could be twenty-three to 20, twenty-six feet. So we take twenty-five times 25. thirteen. So really, at the end of the day, no, we did it as for per ton. Yes. The the really the problem is with these is those those numbers for the reclaiming and the curbing. Our, the number we really really look at is the per ton lead. It's a per ton lead because I'm that's scared. what you use ninety nine percent so. of your money for. Gotcha. But it is a nice to know the other numbers too. Yeah. Uh, something else I might add, just for your, your, your knowledge, typically reclaiming is done by the square yard, yeah. and, and your bid has ever, always run, since I've been involved with you guys, have always run by the square foot. So your square yard price would be times nine. Yeah. Okay. Well, if we freak out when they see 180 yeah. <laughs> feet, uh, and that's, it just has no work. I think it's just the way we advertise it, I think it's why it's done like that. If that's the way it 
typically is done by the yard. Should we change that in the future? Oh, we ought to work. Yeah, I mean, Will just has to tell me yeah, if he wants to change that. He can handle it this time, but in the future, let's see. It probably goes back 20 years. Who has years. the bid now? Who are we using Carol. now? Carol. Carol. All right, and Shaw Brother. Yeah. Um, I'm just going to read you what it says. 19.0 mm HMA 105, 9.5 mm HMA 115. Is that one of those per, is that per ton laid number? So they do want to give us a detail of each 19 mil. So the 19 millimeters is a three quarter base. Is that what these other two are? Uh, no, because you guys, in the bid process, you, you asked for per ton weight. So, right. yeah. so the other two bids have given you actual per ton. They didn't break it out as to what the so problem we can't, we can really Well, Dave gave us weight. per ton weight. Yeah, they, they, they all, what they've done, we get 90 per ton for base or finish. Right. What they've done is they're breaking it out three quarter, half, uh, whatever, three eighths. All having different prices. Different prices, so they didn't give us so we really can't. I mean, quite. It's happened to quite a yeah, Well, yeah, and, and quite honestly, and I, you know, if, in the conversation you guys can have with Will off the record or on the record if they want, I mean, this company is still cheaper regardless of which way you look at it. So. Which, which company? The company we're using now, all states, 9610, date is 98. Carol? Carol is the one yeah. we're using now. All state. Oh, is that the same, same thing? Yeah, same thing. Okay. All right. All state Carol, ninety six dollars and ten cents. Dayton's at ninety eight, and Shaw Brothers is going to range from one hundred and five to two hundred, depending on the thickness. So, like you said, it's kind of irrelevant. But I don't know who wants to come up and talk about his experience with All State. We only got the three. Only got three. You want to come up? <laughs> this should be an easy one this year, huh? Yeah. Just me. <laughs> um, yeah, I got no problem going with Carol's again. Charlie's great to work with, so. Fantastic, they get us right in, so I got no problem going with Carol's. I think we can make a decision tonight on this instead of prolonging it. I tell you. Yeah. you know, want to make a motion? What was this? I, I'm sorry. Yeah. Yes. What was the second item that was, I think, uh, Carol was 218. What is that for? That's just hand place. So if, if, uh, if I go out and have to pat, quite honestly, typically we rarely have hardly any. Okay. We so we don't spend a lot on it because the other vendor was cheaper, but oh, the overall project cost, yeah. it's a small item. Yeah, yeah it's, it's a very, very minuscule okay. item. As a matter of fact, uh, I don't think we had any hand work on West Shore, and that's 16,000 okay. feet long. So. Right. Um, well, Next time we will be there. <laughs> right? <laughs> uh, make a motion. Motion. I'll make a motion we go with uh, Carol slash F, uh, FI Carol slash Allstate. 9610. Uh, 90, 9610 on the bid. And that's recommended by the road agent. Second. All in favor? All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for uh, When you get. Five seconds, if you could uh, just send me a quick email stating that we were awarded and I'll get you guys put into the system and I'll meet with Will. And if you need me to look at that parking lot, we that, would be, uh, that as well. would be great. Yeah, we'd like to get that paved in at some point. Yeah. Uh, that, and we'll look at that help and we we'll take that help on at the same time and we patch that in. So well, I can give you my thoughts and ideas. Yep. And, uh, That'd be good. Whenever you, you talk to Will and find out what's good for you, and I'll come over and yep. take a look at it. Thanks. What's the email address? There's no contact here. I'm sorry. sorry. What's the email address? Uh, C. Emerson, E M E R S O N, at A S M G Adam Sam Mary George dot com. Sorry. We're almost done this meet. I can, we can do it tonight, huh? Well, uh, 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 do it tonight. If you guys want to wait a minute, I'll, I'll, I'll well, go with If you wait a minute, I'll come up meet you there. <laughs> we'll, we'll be done here in a few minutes. So. Uh, it would be awesome if we could do that. Save us a lot of time. Okay. Um, done with the payment bid. Public call. Before, before we get started on the public comment, um, I think we've mentioned a couple of times now that uh, when the board goes into executive session, um, the cameras and the microphones continue to be live. 
And I know I have received a number of comments, and some of them outside of the town, mm -hmm. where people, I guess a number of people listened to a conversation that took place last week. Lengthy. Lengthy conversation. And, um, you yeah, know, I think it's fair to say they were troubled by the conversation, but, you know, it's just two people expressing their point of view, which I'm fine with. They have the right to do that. However, I would encourage people that if they have views about town government, what's working, what's not working, to select them, what's, what, what are they doing that you like or you don't like, that podium is there for that reason. We want to hear from you. I can guarantee you you'll be treated with respect and those opinions will be heard. But I ask that you share them with us. That's the only way we're going to know what people are thinking. Okay? And we'll try to take that into account in the way we do business. So be aware that microphone is on and people are listening. Okay? That and I think Jen brought pretty good point. The staff. Staff. Oh, yeah. Please, yeah, please do it. Don't staff. talk about staff. Uh, yeah, that's Jim. a no-no. Uh, well, technically uh, being brought up in a live meeting. Yeah. Even though we're not here, yeah. the meeting is still on, still live. And I, you know, unfortunately, you know, probably don't, don't you know, when everybody leaves and you know, breaks up talk here, they don't realize they're being listened to, but yeah. you're being listened to. I hate to help. We can't shut it off during the meeting, but we shut it, it stops the meeting. Well, it looks like they've found a way around it. That's going to be your well, choice. Well, as of right now. As of now right? I, I don't care. I would still not. If you've got to have a conversation, go outside. Don't do it in But don't force us to get to the point where we have to have someone in here and listen in yeah. to yeah. shut the thing down if yeah. it gets out of hand. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, so now I'm going to give you the opportunity to come and speak. <laughs> so, uh, public comment? None? No? No? Yeah. There is. Just curious on Moose Farm Road. There is a is that ours? There's a speed thingy. Mm -hmm. does, it's in Is that is that, that, is sure. that the town's? Oh, well, we have two. I mean, at Chapel is it's still on back road. For yeah, ours. So it must be ours on Moose Farm. Yeah, yeah, I think it's ours. Yeah. Oh, okay. Because I know there was talk about getting one fixed or a new we one. Did, yeah. We did. We did. Yeah, something like that. But that's ours. Great thing. It's good. Yeah, it slows me down. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good it's, to know. It's been there for quite a while. Actually, I'm glad you brought this up. I think we should move it around. Oh, yeah. Because uh, after a while, people just ignore it. I had a request that I forwarded to Jennifer. Which is great. Yeah, yeah. 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 That was what I was going to ask you. Because yeah. it, it's been there at least a month, I would think. Yeah. And, um, you know, if it... It's like a street side. You leave it there too long. Yeah. You know, you, get, you get used to it. And it uh, doesn't mean I slow down, but, you know, you get used to it being there. And um, But I'm glad to see it because it does work. Yeah. Thanks. Okay. Any other public comment? Uh, I don't see any. Do you have a part of the meeting? Make, make a motion to adjourn. Second. All favor? That was how you wanted, right? Okay. <laughs> Like, I try on the shoulders.